Good evening guys and welcome to today's video where I'm looking at question 30 and 31 from the AQA November 2018 foundation tier paper one non-calculator paper right guys this video was recorded on thursday the 8th of july 2021 and in today's video we'll, we'll be looking at question 30 and 31 right guys if you're new to my channel thank you for clicking on my video uh, my name is abdallah wahishi and i'm a recently qualified mathematics teacher for secondary and primary um i also make videos um on gcc uh, key stage 1, key stage 2, key stage 3, and AS and A2 level maths, okay, and further maths. If you found my video useful, I would really appreciate it if you could press the, the subscribe button, drop the video a like, and also press the bell icon so you don't miss out on further videos and further uploads uh, that come regularly on my channel. Right guys, question 30, it says work out the percentage increase from 80 to 280, so it's the difference, so it's 280 minus 80 divided by the original which is 80, okay, and then times 100 actually, okay, so it's a, so it's a fraction times 100, so a fraction to a percentage it is always times it by 100, so 280 minus 80 is 200, so so it's two 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 hundred divided by eighty times a hundred. Well, uh, when it's two zero zero divided by eighty, it, it, it simplifies to a hundred out of forty, which simplifies to ten out of four, which is five out of two, which is two point five. Two point five times a hundred is twenty five, and it's two fifty. So the percentage uh, increase is two hundred and fifty percent. So that is the answer for question thirty. So please ignore this bit here and this bit here actually so like just ignore those sums and that sum here guys okay because i made like a mistake on there previously because i was dividing by a, a different number instead of 80 so it's the difference in the values divided by the original multiply it by 100 so 280 minus 80 is what uh 200 so it's 200 divided by 80 times 100 which is 250 percent so that over 80 so dividing top and bottom by 2 i get 100 over 40 dividing that by 10 I get 10 over 4 which is just 2.5 or 5 over 2 and 2.5 and 2.5 and so 2.5 times 100 so make sure that we're happy with our multiplication of 100 so it's 25 and then it's 250 so the answer is 250% for question 30 guys yeah, and and it, it it was worth I believe three marks I think actually so it, 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 I, I think it was worth three or four marks I, I, I think it was worth three marks for that question question thirty one guys okay so it says here um solve the equation x squared um minus x minus uh, 12 equals zero so factorizing this guys so it's so it's going to be uh, uh, x plus 3 times x minus 4 equals zero so x squared so it's going to be a double bracket guys so x and x in there okay it's, it's got to be two numbers that add to, to make minus 1 and multiply to make negative 12 well it's minus 4 and positive 3 so minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1 and positive 3 times negative 4 is minus 12 so it's x plus 3 times x plus 4 equals 0 and you can always check your answer by expanding the brackets okay so doing that guys so um either x plus 3 equals 0 or x minus 4 is 0 so therefore x equals negative 3 or x equals a positive 4 guys so our solutions are x equals negative 3 or x equals positive 4 for question 31 and that question was worth 3 marks ok so it's 2 marks for factorising it and then two mar uh, 1 mark for getting your uh, both of your solutions correct ok so I hope that actually made sense guys ok so thank you so much for watching um, like I said at the beginning please like comment share subscribe and also press the bell icon next to the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos and future uploads but thank you so much for watching guys take care and i'll catch you in the next one bye for now